Thermal paper is a common receipt paper used in many industries today. Today we're going to show you a few tips to help make sure your paper prints clearly and scans easily to keep your business running efficiently. For this video, we're going to use probably one of the most common direct thermal printers out there, which is the Epson TMT88 printer. Did you know that every time you change the roll, the manufacturer suggests cleaning the print head? We thought it was so important that we included the suggestion on all of our cases of thermal paper. To do this, you'll open the head of the printer and using a cotton swab and rubbing alcohol, or even more convenient, a felt tipped thermal head cleaning pen, you'll wipe the head clean. Find the metal print head. The metal print head will be the part that burns an image into thermal paper. The thermal paper has a coating that reacts to the heat to create an image. The residue left behind is what you're hoping to clean up. You can also clean the plastic portion on the bottom as well as the metal piece on the top of the printer that comes into contact with the paper. Remove the first layer of paper and insert it into the printer. Make sure to install the paper the correct way, as only one side of the paper will have the coating that reacts to the heat. With the Epson printer turned off, press the feed button and turn the printer back on. A test page will print, and at this time, you can check the print quality. This sheet will display the print density setting. You can adjust the print density setting on these printers. This is a great option, especially if a darker paper color is needed. If you would like to adjust the darkness of the print, you will need to adjust the dip switches according to your manual. For our Epson TMT88 printer, we find the dip switches underneath the printer on the base. Our manual told us to go to dip switch bank 2. We then need to look at the setting under columns 3 and 4. For a dark print, we would turn the dip switch on bank two, column three, to off, and the dip switch on column four to on. Hold the feed button down again while turning your printer on to print your test sheet. Review the difference of the image from the original setting to this new setting. Press the feed button again, and you're ready for business. We hope this has been helpful. Do you still have questions? Subscribe to our channel or visit our site. We're happy to help. See you next time.